Hello, N4H and H here with the ICOM IC7300. And uh, look at this, Yesu FT991A. These two are often uh, considered uh, when people are looking at radios, you know, in this um, in this price range. And so, uh, well, both of these belong to my friend Joel, KC4WZB. In fact, if you watched the video from, uh, I don't know, it's been probably about a week ago, um, almost a week ago, I was talking to Joel from his 7300, and he was on this radio, the uh, 991A, at a cabin in North Georgia. So he wanted me to do a shootout between the two of these radios, and I may even throw the 5,000 into the mix for fun, Chuck. <laughs> um, so uh, Chuck's one of my uh, Patreons. Thank you, Chuck. So, um, yeah, so there's a QSO going on right now where we got a weak station and a strong station. Let me let you listen. Yeah, they, uh, some of them guys, one of That is obviously the strong uh, station. controls on 153, they, uh, they bleed uh, pretty good. Just so you know, uh, digital noise reduction is at maximum. If I turn it down, I get more bleed over, I think, from 153. I told that neck control that day, I said, it's worse. But I've noticed on the 7300 that the digital noise reduction is lacking. It doesn't really even make an appreciable difference after a setting of eight. Listen. Really can't tell the difference between eight, nine, all the way up to 15. So I'll put it on nine, so I match the uh, the 991A. Its digital noise reduction is also on nine, which I find to be the sweet spot for that radio. So let me let you hear the weak station. I cut it off, and then count to three, cut it back up. Nah, nah, not much. Maybe a little bit. Wow. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you love your 7300, but this 991A just, just beat it on that weak signal. That's right. When he talks again, I'll switch back. I'm running a 2.7 kilohertz bandwidth and um, IPO. No preamp. I would say on the 7300, I can tell he's talking. I can even make out the tone of his voice, but on the 5000, I can actually tell what he's saying. That strong station there is that's Billy out in uh, West Tennessee. Northwest Tennessee. I'd like to get that thing back. Well, this is a comment antenna. Uh, the 
the folding meter thing is on top. I uh, got 10, 17, and 20. They stick out the side like a porcupine, and it has three holes for three more bands. Yep. See, it's a mobile antenna. Let's see no, if we can get a 991A. Uh, to begin with, uh, he did not never use it. And he don't even know if he still got it or not. 991A is ha hanging, in, hanging in there with that 5000. Maybe not. Uh, but uh, that little comet antenna, it runs real good. It won't hold, but... Uh, like I mentioned I before, the 7300's the receiver is plenty sensitive. Uh, but, uh, it, the failure is in the uh, DSP the side to be able to reduce, got, reduce the uh, noise. Uh, on the car now, it was screwed right into that. Okay, before he gets out of there, I'm going to go into the function menu and turn off digital noise reduction. And it's on nine. Uh, a nine. See, so you get that watery effect. Listen to that. But when you get to nine, the watery effect goes away. Now, one way also to mitigate that watery effect is to uh, lower the RF gain. Turn on the RFK knob to the left until you can still hear the person, but but it but the you know it's gone the uh, the water effect. But like I said, it seems to be that the optimum setting is nine. Now it's it's not the same. It's not the same with the uh, five thousand. Alpha, Delta, 4, Papa, Fox. Alpha, I'm Delta, 4, Papa, Fox. There's Pops. one. Calling CQ40. Calling CQ40. And there's no water effect. Alpha, Delta, 4, Papa, Fox. Northwest, Tennessee. Listening. Right here. No matter how high you turn it, all the way to 15. You do not get that watery effect. Hello. So I don't really have to run it at nine. I generally run around four or five. Again, not taking anything away from the 7300 as far as the fact that it's a great uh, starter radio. It's a good backup radio. Um, I just would not consider it to be my my number one shack radio, uh, except maybe you know when you're starting out and still learning your way around, because it's very intuitive, as I've established in the previous videos for somebody who's learning, uh, you know, learning their way. And the, uh, yeah, well, I read a go back to the 991A. You know, and, uh, well, it almost sounds like you took a blanket off the speaker uh, when you switched to the 991A. And, it, and, uh, and that is with digital noise reduction engaged. He's definitely more discernible on that one. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I may shoot another video uh, comparing the 991A and the 7300 on CW. But to me, the clear winner on sideband is the 991A between it and the 7300. Interestingly enough, uh, the 991A doesn't cost a whole lot more than the 7300, and you've also got 2 meters and 70 centimeters. There's an extra antenna jack on the back for the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. So that's kind of a plus. You know, that's why they call that radio the shack in the box. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate my Patreons for helping me uh, keep the channel going. Uh, if you want to become a Patreon, go to www.patreon.com slash n4hnh. And you can also help out by liking the video and subscribing. Thanks a lot. 73 from N4HNH.